and we are back here for the scaled division and man what an exciting one we saw in the previous uh, event that was the foundational guys the hot uh, bazinga hotcakes taking the win there unofficially and then now we have the scaled males in here and in first we have pure fitness keeping it real second v-town dogs third the battle bros fourth two sotis in a boot fifth beast mode sixth rtf snap crackle and pop seventh pure tim work those are your lanes number one two three four five six and seven we do have the top 10 here just to show you how close it was look at eighth place they missed out just by two and a bit one and a bit points actually uh from making that final very very unfortunate for them uh, that is dust bounty machine as well as mount olympus and fit dads very very close here in the scaled division and uh Remember, this workout is a staggered start. So that means because Pure Fitness is in that number one spot, they will have a, looks like a nine second head start of V-Town Dogs. And then so on. It's depending on those points. So nine seconds head start for Pure Fitness, keeping it real. That will go first. And then second will be V-Town Dogs out the gates. Third out the gates will be the Battle Bros. Those are your top three at the moment. However, if anything goes by what we saw in the previous heat with the foundational, we saw uh, the fourth place team, V-Town CrossFit Bullies, making their way from fourth into a uh, top two or top three position. Not too, too sure where they came there, but uh, unofficially they did get a podium spot. So kudos to them. And here come your finalists for the battle 2023 powered by Puma. There you have your uh, top seven teams out on the floor. Let's see if lane number one, Pure Fitness, keeping it real, can hang on to that lead in the staggered start. That wasn't the start. He uh, obviously forgot to go set his chair or something. So remember, they're going to start off with uh, their buy-in. The buy-in is going to be uh, 10 burpees over line and then 20 air squats. And off they go. Lane number one. Pure keeping it real. Nine seconds, that's all they have. And off go V-Town Dogs in lane number two. Not too far behind them, the Battle Bros. They'll be let out their gates shortly. And here they come, the Battle Bros. And straight away, look at that. Two teams out the gate, two Sotis in a boot and Beast Mode. That's how close it was. Let's keep uh, an ear out. And what a great shot we have there on the screen at the moment by our cameraman. As the teams are battling it out for that number one spot here at the Battle 2023. RTF, Snap, Crackle and Pop and Pure Tim work. They are out the gates now. As we look at our leaders in lane number one still, that is Pure Fitness. 
And then in second, we got V-Town Dogs. So they've completed the buy-in. They are now on the, the cardio section, which is 40 calories on the assault bike, assault runner, as well as assault roller, uh, rower. Once you pick a machine, that is your machine. You have to finish your 40 calories before uh, moving on. You cannot be sharing on those machines. Your machine is your machine. So these athletes will be staying on those machines. You can see it is pretty close at the moment. Everyone uh, neck and neck. And I just got a confirmation from our cameraman earlier on that it is absolutely baking on that floor. Big, big pull there, getting it nice and high. That assault rower a lot, lot harder than your normal rower. Forty calories. That's what these athletes are looking for. If you're wondering what that white box is, it's just to stop the glare, so the athlete can see what calories they are on, because they have to call their calories. Once they call their calories, the judge will come over and check to see that they have reached the calorie that they are looking for, which is 40. Remember, these athletes are extremely tired. They've had a long, long weekend of events. But currently our top two teams are in lane one and lane two. And that is Pure Fitness and V-Town. Yin and Yang at the moment with those uh, black and white t-shirts. And look at that with a two rep lead at the moment. Your new leaders are the V-Town Dogs. And here in third place, we got the Battle Bros. And it's going to come down to that conditioning, that aerobic conditioning. Who has the tank? We watched uh, in the previous heat, the foundational heat, a team with a 68 second lead they, uh, that was quickly diminished by the team in second place. Onto those uh, cleaning jerks with the worm. They will have 30 worm uh, clean and jerks. It has to be obviously synchronized. It has to be controlled. So once they go over the head now onto that shoulder, that needs to be controlled. It cannot just drop off the shoulder once you get it over the head. You have to drop it onto the shoulder and control it. That worm is 80 kgs. So it shouldn't be too difficult, but that volume, 30 reps, does start uh, hindering athletes a little bit with uh, the rest of the work to come. Remember, they still got those thrusters, 50 thrusters, to come a little bit later on in the workout, and that is where uh, it can separate the men from the boys. Huge shout out to NPL as this event is. Well, this event is uh, presented by NPL. And beautiful shots there of Monte Cassino. You can see the fatigue these athletes are feeling right now. Those two workouts earlier today, gymnastics as well as cardio, would have absolutely smashed that adrenal system.
because of the load on the body. A lot of these athletes, their cortisol levels will be quite high right now, which is making life a little bit difficult for them. And uh, their energy systems, not as efficient as if they were fresh. So if you think this is looking quite easy, you've never actually done a CrossFit competition before, and you're looking at the movements here and you're like, I can do that. Try doing uh, four workouts in two days and then jumping into a final for your fifth workout and keeping the same intensity that these athletes are right now. Still, your leaders in lane number two, V-Town Dogs. They took the lead from lane number one who had a nine second lead over them. That was pure fitness keeping it real. And it looks like they are extending that lead. Remember, when they were on those air squats earlier on, it was a two rep lead. And uh, from my counting there now, it looks like they have a four rep lead over the men in lane number one. That is pure fitness, keeping it real. Putting that bandana back on his head. Possibly keep the sweat out of his eyeballs. And that le lead is starting to be extended here by lane number two, V-Town Dogs. They are currently about 12 reps ahead of uh, the men in lane number one. And off they go. They are done with that buy-in once again. They're moving on to the three rounds of snatches and toes to bar. This is quite uh, hairy. They'll have three rounds of 15 dumbbell snatches, which has to be mirrored. So if you're athlete one, you have it in your left hand. Athlete two will have to have it in their right hand. Both heads of the dumbbell have to touch the floor. And it has to be uh, synced at the top. Then they'll move into... Uh, sorry, it's not toes to bar. My apologies, that was the foundational. Then they'll move into six pullovers. Recently we saw that at the CrossFit Games and uh, the battle deciding that will bring that to this event. Lane one on your screen at the moment, that is Pure Fitness. And those pull out, pullovers, you have to have a full lockout of the elbows at the top and a full lockout of the elbows at the bottom. So when you come down, you cannot actually um, hold yourself in a, a uh, held up a position, a locked out position with the elbows. It has to be straight arms at the bottom and the top. As we look at these athletes now onto those snatches, remember it has to be mirrored, synced at the top, Both heads have to touch the bottom. And uh, that change out there, you might have just seen that the one athlete was called back. He must stay in the holding pen before uh, to allow the other athlete who just finished their snatches to also come into the holding pen. Once that athlete crosses the white line, uh, athlete two can come into the snatching area. And here's the rest of the field. They're all trying to battle it out. Maybe trying to juggle themselves into a better position here at the battle. Maybe a top five. As we look again, athletes lock out the elbow. Straight elbows at the bottom. You cannot uh, hold yourself in a locked, locked out position. You have to straighten your arms at the top as well as the bottom. And see some athletes here still on uh, their second buy-in. And if you've just tuned in, welcome. You are currently watching the final of the scaled division. And you're watching an It's Happening production. Hit that subscribe button, that like button, and of course the bell notifications for all the other finals later on. As well as the ladies, they'll be commencing this evening. 
and we'll be covering that for you as well. Remember, we are not live. This is a pre-recorded session. Still a nice healthy battle here between lane one and two. Lane one on your screen at the moment, Pure Fitness. Maybe even though this is the scaled division, it is uh, AKA Intermediates. These are the guys that are just outside of that open. You'll probably find maybe their gymnastics is a little bit short or their weightlifting's a little bit on the weaker side. And that's where that separation is at the moment. And that's why they're not in that open division just yet. You'll probably find a couple of these athletes maybe next year stepping up to the plate and heading uh, to that open division, AKA the RX division or elite division. Great technique for those pullovers. Nice and quick on that turnover. Lane number two, still hanging on to the lead there. That's V-Town Dogs with six minutes remaining for these athletes. In the previous heat, we only saw one team finish and that was your winners. Here comes lane one. And they have fallen way behind. It looks like V-Town Dogs have opened up a very, very healthy lead here. It would take a a drastic mistake from these men to give up this lead right now with five minutes, 30 seconds remaining. But second and third still being battled out, hotly contested between Pure Fitness and the Battle Bros. As we go back to V-Town, V-Town on those thrusters. Swapping out. Remember, they are on axle bars. That axle bar is 30 kgs. As you can see, the shadows there on the right of your screen, that is pure fitness. They are neck and neck at the moment with Battle Bros. And look at that. I think Battle Bros have just snuck into second place. But here comes lane number one. They don't want to give up that second spot. So they now onto their thrusters. And you don't want uh, V-Town to get too complacent now. They get complacent now. A team that's uh, very hungry and willing to get themselves into the pain cave might just sneak into first place. As we keep a close eye on the rest of the field, yeah, that is uh, two Sotis in Abur. Your leaders, Vitan. They are now moving into that next section of uh, the thrusters, 30 kgs. Lane seven, pure Tim work. And next to them, RTF, Snap, Crackle, and Pop. And man, it is hot out here at Monte Casino. You can see the beautiful setting there of Monte Casino just in the background there. Don't forget, we have our females kicking it off this evening. We'll be doing some highlight reels uh, just of uh, the liftoff. Fortunately, it's just a bit too long uh, to form consistently. So we'll be doing highlights once again. 
Three minutes left for these men. And uh, you can see there, look who's catching up. You got the men in lane number three, the Battle Bros, catching up to the men in lane number two, V-Town Dogs. Can V-Town Dogs hold on to their lead? But uh, breathing down their necks right now, the Battle Bros. And out there in lane one, pure fitness, keeping it real. They are starting to suck gas at the moment. And really, really struggling to keep up. Will they hang on to third spot? Ninety seconds left for these athletes. And it looks like five more reps for V Town Dogs. Oh, they're going to walk away with the win here. For final rep for them. There it is. Only one athlete has to cross the line. And there you have it. Unofficially, your champions of the scale division, V Town Dogs. And look at that, man. That was absolute. Hard on the line, gave it his all. And what a great work out there for the V-Town Dogs in lane number two. Now we got lane number three, the Battle Bros, looking to walk away with second, and they do. They have second place in the bag. That is the Battle Bros unofficially. Ten seconds remaining for these athletes. And it looks like third place is wide open as everyone is in the same section at the moment. And not too sure who finished in that third place position. But uh, your first place goes to V-Town Dogs and then in second, the Battle Bros. Unofficially, your top two here at the Battle 2023. Don't go anywhere. Hit that bell notification. We'll let you know when we go live for the Masters next up here at the Battle 2023.